हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब लर्निंग चैनल एक्यूरेट ए एस एम ई आई एस ओ इन दिस वीडियो ए कॉमन मिस्टेक्स आर नोइंगली हैपन फ्रॉम सी एम एम यूजर्स आर डिस्कस वन ऑफ दोज इज प्रोप रेडियस करेक्शन और कॉम्पेंसेशन इन द मेजरमेंट डन प्लीज डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो टू एवरी सी एम एम यूजर्स लेट एस बिगिन नाउ in all three coordinate measuring machines point coordinates which are read from the machine scales x y z are transferred from the center of the stylus sphere or diameter however the stylus center location is not the same as the point of contact with the component surface therefore the contact elements radius needs to be adjusted in order to avoid recording in correct dimensions in this given figure point coordinates measured at the center of the ruby ball but the actual contact of ball is here it is exactly the radius difference therefore actual point should be moved on the contact surface to get the real part coordinates this is called as probe radius correction or the compensation it is happened through the application software logics which will be discussed in the next slides this calculation a mathematical logic is built that the point data is transferred from the center of the stylus ball and the radius correction is very much essential to have real measurement data of the part to be measured now it is confirmed that point coordinates are transferred from the center of the stylus and radius correction is essential there are various methods available in the cmm software to correct the radius the most general and default method is to offset a complete geometry profile this method is run through software as a default method in this a logic used is whether geometry is measured from inside or outside or from the below or above this is a straight surface for an example let us discuss points are measured with the stylus software passes a feature through all the center after construction of the feature it is offsetted by a probe stylus radius value this is the easiest method of radius correction by offsetting a complete feature it is a 3d cone measured with number of points on the part surface through these points a cone feature is constructed or extracted software understand it is outside cone and compensates it with radius value to get the actual envelope of the part similarly a circle also measured a circle is constructed from the probe points and it is moved or offsetted by a radius value this is a typical 2d profile it is a profile of a line
still for such features compensation also work in the same way and it is very easy to offset radius correction by offset of the geometry profile is very easy but this logic is not applicable or work for the single point measurement there are various applications in the measurement where we need to measure a single point for such single point a radius compensation can be in all 360 degree directions if exact direction of the compensation is not known it is very difficult in which direction the point is to be compensated there are two possible compensating directions are usually considered compensation of the stylus radius in a direction parallel to one of the coordinate system axis here coordinate system axis is nothing but the part coordinate system second is compensation of the stylus in the direction of the normal vector at the probing point every feature has got its location and direction x y z are normally the location coordinates and i j k are the vector directions this is the only absolute correct compensation direction that is when direction vector is known compensation in the direction is very easy probe compensation in coordinate axis direction the axis shown in red color is machine coordinate system and with color in black is part coordinate system as visualized part is not kept parallel to the machine coordinate system even it is not necessary while measurement in three coordinate measuring machine after the part alignment in the condition shown number 1 point is probed in the direction of the x axis here axis direction is used to correct the probe radius and compensate it therefore a perfect measurement is done in the second case the point is not probed in the direction of the part axis this direction is parallel to the machine axis therefore the radius correction is done in the direction of the machine axis since machine axis and part axis are not parallel a cosine error is produced and therefore it records a wrong data or it produces error in the measurement similarly a line also required a reference plane it can be a measured plane or coordinate system plane while measurement if plane is not assigned then again a cosine error is produced generating a measurement error as shown in the condition number 2 therefore while doing the measurement on three coordinate measuring machine or very special case of the point measurement and the line measurement it is at most care to be taken when you want to do a the single point measurement direction is very important of the axis and in case of the line measurement the lying plane is very important as we discussed a plane which is physical measurement is also used or it can be a cartesian coordinate system plane is used there is also a possibility to project the points on the lying reference plane one by one or by automatic setting points are projected on the given reference planes the geometry produced a line in this case will be of good accuracy the projection of point is always done perpendicular to the reference plane and therefore there is no need to compensate the radius there are few special cases where single point radius compensation is not possible even applying the coordinate system axis direction one of those cases is described here suppose we want to measure a diameter on cone surface at an exact given distance from the top cone surface after making the part alignment or setting a coordinate system and making 
a origin to the top surface we can bring down the stylus at exact dimension where diameter is to probe if we probe the point in the axis direction the point compensation is done in axis but still we cannot reach to the point by correction exactly where it is supposed to this is happened because of the axis and the slant cone edge are not parallel and again a cosine error is the result of it and the measurement error is the result in such a very special compensation a vector direction of the geometry is used all the geometries are having their location coordinate x y z and their orientation in terms of i j k for the surfaces the direction vector is always normal to that surface if point is probed on that surface and in the direction vector of that surface only the software automatically compensates the radius error correction in this vector direction hope that you like this video please do not forget to subscribe the channel and share it to others for training inquiry please find the contact details on the slide thank you friends take care bye for this time see you soon for the next video thank you once again